almost uh, lost you for a second there. You, were, you fell over. I don't know what you were doing. So um, uh, luckily I caught you just in time. And um, yeah, just uh, grabbing at my 5D Mark IV. And I just noticed these cool textures and patterns against the sand. I like how the dark meets the light. And I think it's going to look very cool. So I'm going to get out with my... Um, just my 24 to 105. I'm not going to set up a tripod or anything. Don't need it. We've got, some, we've got a lot of available light. You know, just freehand it. Autofocus, IS on, shoot probably around F9. And then we'll wait till the sun starts to set uh, quite low. And then we'll get that nice afterglow and the nice colours start to come out. Uh, because right now the light is still very harsh. Very, very windy though. That's why uh, you almost fell over. You've got to watch your footing next time. Alright. over there it blacks off the sun and I just think there's a freak wave coming I'm trying to look for a composition I'm just overwhelmed by the scene what I wouldn't mind getting a photo of is that thing right up in the distance there although I got some b-roll when I was walking over to it you can see it in the background so I want to get I want to get a photo of that um, I'll probably take a photo from there looking across. I don't like all the clutter in the foreground. Blimey, that wind is so strong. Oh, I'm just getting sandblast, sandblast as well. Ah, This wind is strong. It's relentless. I was going to fly my drone around and get some footage. There's no chance I'm flying in this. Wow, there's some big waves. I'm 
just overwhelmed. I, I want a nice, simple scene. And I don't. I'm not having that right now. I'm gonna run back, get my camera, and set up on that rock there. Hope you're enjoying the video, by the way. Shooting my Fujifilm XT4. It's working a treat for video. All right, let's get my camera. Since I don't have my long lens, I cannot get that shot. There must be at least 30 people up on that rock. This looks spectacular. Oh, those conditions over there were horrible. Getting sandblasted. We've lost our sun now. Don't know if you can tell that. I'm gonna try and get one more photo in today. And then I'll be a happy boy. Oh my god, I, sw I switched you over to my bigger tripod so it wouldn't blow over. You still got blown over, holy shit. You were half a meter from being destroyed. Nah, now I can get a proper drink in. Oh blimey. The audio is terrible here, but what I was saying is I think I'd lost my free stop filter and I think it was back on that rock where I was originally taking the photo. So we have to go back over there and hopefully we can find it and it hasn't blown into the sea. Yep, I think that mic is done for, hey? So yeah, back to using the wireless mic setups in future videos. Everything looks the same. I think I was, I think I was on this rock here. Now, did it blow somewhere? Oh yeah. Got it, got it. I didn't see it when I was packing up. Thank goodness.
think I'm trying to make something work that just won't. The light isn't right. I'm shooting into basically an overblown blown part of the sky. If I was shooting that way, it'd be fine. Um, I don't know what's on the other side. We're losing this light. I've got a trek of about 20 minutes to get back to the car. I do have a bright torch with me. Um, and I lost almost another filter. When I laid my camera down on the ground, this popped off and just sat on the rock. Maybe I don't like the magnetic filters after all. Look, not for that anyway. Now, I wouldn't normally plop my camera down on the ground like I have been. It's just been the wind and everything and the conditions. Mainly that wind actually, to be honest. this video hasn't gotten the way I wanted it to or expected um, but that's landscape photography for you I had certain expectations in my head um, I think it would have been better if I had clouds some atmosphere then I could have worked with that but we don't have that today but over the coming days it's gonna get we're gonna get maybe a storm so we could get out in that and I've got one of my friends I'm gonna meet up with uh, from Perth uh, Cameron, so he's coming up here on Friday evening and uh, I'm going to catch up and do some shooting with him on Saturday and Sunday before making my way home on Monday. Yeah, I think tomorrow we will take out the XD4, go nice and lightweight system and explore the area. I think that's probably going to work in our favour. No tripod, just the one for the video and that way I can take food and fluids and everything and be out there longer because I was going to compromise on fluids so I could take the gear but for those for that situation um, it's not gonna be ideal so yeah oh. and I know the Fuji X-T4 does a really good job as well so it's gonna for print worthy images this will do just fine anyway I'm gonna sign out for the day I hope you enjoy this one and I look forward to seeing you on the next one okay bye for now oh Sandy I can't turn my, my camera with like that. Okay, bye everyone. <laughs>